The Sikorsky SH-3C King. The Sikorsky SH-3C King is a twin-engine helicopter designed for anti-submarine warfare. It was one of the first ASW helicopters to use turboshaft engines, which made it more powerful and efficient than previous helicopter designs. During the Cold War, the Soviet Navy had a large and powerful fleet of submarines. This posed a significant threat to the United States Navy, which needed to develop new ways to fight them. One of the key developments in anti-submarine warfare was the Sikorsky SH-3C King helicopter. The Sea King first flew on March 11, 1959, and entered service in 1961. It quickly became the backbone of the U.S. Navy's ASW fleet. Over 1,300 of these helicopters were built, with several variants, including the Sikorsky S-61, CH-124 Canadian Sea King, British Westland Sea King, S-61R Transport and Search and Rescue variant, and S-67 Blackhawk. The S-67 Blackhawk variant is no longer in service. It was only built as a prototype and was never put into production. The Sikorsky S-61L is a civil variant of the SH-3. It is a land-based version with a longer fuselage than the original SH-3 to accommodate more passengers or cargo. The S-61R was developed in response to a requirement from the United States Air Force for a new transport and search and rescue helicopter. The first S-61R flew on March 17, 1968, and the helicopter entered service with the U.S. Air Force in 1970. The S-61R was also used by the United States Coast Guard, where it was designated as the HH-3F Pelican. The CH-124 Sea King was introduced in 1963 and served with the Royal Canadian Navy and Canadian Forces from 1963 to 2018. Westland manufactured 330 Sea King helicopters, which were not only utilized by the British Royal Navy and Royal Air Force, but also exported to various countries, including the Indian Naval Air Arm, German Navy, Royal Australian Navy, Royal Norwegian Air Force, Belgian Air Force, Egyptian Air Force, and Qatar Amiri Air Force. In U.S. Navy service, the initial SH-3A model of the Sea King was progressively converted into the improved SH-3D and SH-3H variants. These variants featured more powerful engines and improved sensors, giving the type greater operational capabilities as an anti-submarine warfare platform. However, Sea Kings were also commonly converted for non-anti-submarine warfare activities, such as minesweeping, combat search and rescue, and passenger utility transports. The aircrew on ASW tasked Sea Kings were routinely trained to carry out these secondary roles, as the aircraft could often be quickly adapted to perform different missions in the face of operational needs. The U.S. Navy retired the Sea King helicopter in the 1990s, replacing it with the more modern Sikorsky HH-60 Seahawk helicopter. However, the Sea King remains in service with many other countries around the world today, with nearly 600 Sea Kings still in service. Helicopter 66 was a SH-3 Sea King helicopter that was used by the United States Navy during the Apollo program to recover astronauts from the ocean after their return from the moon. Helicopter 66 was piloted by Bruce Johnson and co-pilot William Carpentier on the day of the Apollo splashdown, July 24, 1969. They were the first people to greet Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins after their return from the moon. Helicopter 66 was the primary recovery vehicle for Apollo missions 8 and 10 to 13. It was retired from service in 1975 and is now on display at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, Washington. The United States Marine Corps HMX-1 unit operates several SH-3 Sea King helicopters, which are used as the official helicopters of the President of the United States. The Sea King is no longer in service as Marine One. The last Sea King helicopter was retired from Marine One service in 2018 and replaced by the Sikorsky VH-92 A Patriot. The Sea King typically has a crew of four, two pilots in the cockpit and two aircrew in the main cabin. During anti-submarine missions, the aircrew in the cabin operate the aircraft's sensors and interpret the data. For search and rescue missions, the cabin can accommodate up to 22 survivors or nine stretchers plus two medical officers. In the troop transport role, the Sea King can carry up to 28 soldiers. 
The Sea King, powered by two General Electric T 58 GE 10 turboshaft engines, each with a power output of 1,500 shaft horsepower. This gives the Sea King a top speed of 267 km per hour and a cruise speed of 219 km per hour for maximum range. The Sea King has a range of 1,005 km with maximum fuel and 10% reserves. The Sea King has a service ceiling of 14,700 feet and a rate of climb of 2,200 feet per minute. The Sea King is a medium-sized helicopter, but it is also relatively heavy, with a maximum takeoff weight of 11,100 kilograms. This is due to its amphibious capabilities and the need to carry a variety of equipment, including anti-submarine warfare sensors and weapons. Its main rotor blades and tail section can be folded automatically for storage on ships. The Sea King has an amphibious hull, which means it can land on water and remain afloat for extended periods. Deployable airbags in the sponsons add stability and buoyancy. The hull design is also compatible with landing on challenging terrain, such as ice, snow, swampland, and tundra. Wheels are installed in the sponsons for land operations. The SH-3 Sea King is equipped with a variety of anti-submarine warfare equipment, including AQS-13 dipping sonar with specialized computers for processing sonar and sonoboy data. Various models of sonoboys, ARR-75 sonoboy receivers, ASQ-81 magnetic anomaly detector, and AKT-22 data link for rapid dissemination of sonar information to other friendly elements. Some later Sea King models also feature the digital navigation system first-generation GPS and overhauled cockpit instrumentation for night vision compatibility. Sea Kings can carry up to four MK-44 or MK-46 torpedoes, up to 12 MK-11 or MK-12 depth charges, and up to two AS-12 anti-ship missiles or two Hellfire Air to surface missiles. Some models were outfitted to carry one or two missiles, typically Sea Eagles or Exosets. The Sea King could also be fitted to deploy the B-57 nuclear bomb. Sea Kings configured for transport missions can also carry machine guns or 20mm cannons for self-defense. The Sea King is a remarkable helicopter that has played an important role in military and civilian operations around the world. It is a testament to the Sea King's design and versatility that it remains in service today, over 60 years after it first flew.